My name is Ali Nabil Ahmed. I'm a researcher at the Zentrum, uh, the Leibniz Zentrum Moderna Orient in Berlin. Um, I am very glad to be participating in the LSE Summit in Karachi. I was participating in a session on art and modernity, that was the title, uh, at which we discussed a number of issues, uh, including the social and political significance of art in Pakistan. I work on cinema, that's what my uh, research interest is in. This is something that uh, is quite a new research area. Historically, Pakistan has been looked at through a security lens, and so outside experts haven't looked at cinema. People from within Pakistan haven't looked at cinema so much, partly because it's not been taken very seriously as an art form, or even as a cultural form. It's got a kind of morally dubious uh, reputation in this country because of its associations with, uh, among socially conservative circles, its associations with uh, things that are morally problematic over here, or considered to be so. I, uh, I, I discussed at the session, um, and I'm doing research into a particular strand, or several strands of um, critical filmmaking in Pakistan, um, or perhaps it's more accurate to call them contributions, individual contributions, uh, which, about which we know very little because no one's really looked at them very closely. Um, but I find them to be important contributions to the social and political life of Pakistan and uh, the history of critical thought even on, on commentary on Pakistan. Jamil Delvi is to me a very interesting filmmaker and I was talking about his work amongst a num number of others. He made a, a very important film in the 19, late 70s, early 80s uh, called Blood of Hussein, which um, it was a kind of quite fast-paced political thriller, but it was combined, blended with modernist elements uh, which, which gave it a very interesting form. It was done in the form of a, a kind of passion play, a traditional Shia passion play, uh, as a kind of allegory. And so this method he had, I think, of abstracting Pakistani politics allowed him to, to, to you know, into this, abstracting it into this um, symbolic, timeless world, which was Pakistan but wasn't Pakistan, allowed him to formulate a very powerful critique. The film was banned and never really shown in Pakistan, it might still be one day, uh, but it was pirated and, and screened, uh, well, distributed very widely, and, and kind of became a bit of a legendary film and is, you know, was, is an important symbol today that people, people were still resisting uh, the military dictatorship, right? Because it was a critique that was very much uh, relevant to what was happening in the country at the time. So that, I think, was one uh, important strand of, uh, of, of modernist filmmaking that's made an important contribution to the critical potential of art in Pakistan.